Hello, I'm Steve. This is a bit of munch. And this is an empty pizza box. And here is the pizza. And this is uh, from Home Bargains. Wood-fired stone-baked pizza, ham, mushroom and mascarpone. £2.19. Now, you might have seen my video a few weeks ago. I did the... Uh, salami and Induya pizza from this range and it was really really good for £2.19 it was amazing so I'm hoping this one will be just as good um, there's also a, a vegetable one in this range which I bought for my son and his girlfriend they've had that they said that was incre incredible and I think there's a, a margarita one or a four cheese or some, something like that as well so I might try that at some point. Right, so what's on this one? Oh, it's made in Italy, by the way. Uh, Italian wood-fired pizza topped with Italian tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, cooked ham, seasoned mushrooms, and creamy mascarpone cheese sauce. 24-hour rested dough. Right, that's 370 grams. So how much of the important stuff is in this? 11% uh, mozzarella, 11% cooked ham, 2% mascarpone, 10% mushrooms. You've also got 9% tomato puree and 3.5% tomato pulp. Oh, there's another cheese as well, Parmigiano Reggiano PDO cheese, 1.5%. I think I've said that right. Right, I'm, re I'm recording this a few hours after I did that um, Prime re uh, review. Not realising when I did it that the Prime were in fact energy drinks. I only found that out afterwards. I mean, I've amended the title now, so it says energy. I just thought they were ordinary Prime. Now, I don't normally drink energy drinks. In fact, I haven't had one for getting on for three years. I used to drink... I was. A, at a point where I was drinking one every day and it wasn't having any effect and then I just stopped completely and oh, I tell you what after drinking that prime I was buzzing my what's names off I still feel it a little bit now I'm a little bit buzzy now but oh dear ah, it's a good job I didn't like one of them and I only you know I poured one of them down the toilet I made a good job of cleaning it by the way uh, <laughs> Also, to go with this pizza, I have uh, knocked up a little potato salad in there. Uh, I'm not having all of this tonight, by the way. Very simple. All I did was, uh, I had two baking potatoes left. And they were quite a bit old, and they were getting quite sort of sprouty. So, I peeled them. Cut all the sprouty bits off, all the nasty bits. There were a couple of little black bits. Got rid of all that, chopped them up, cooked them, then just simply added some red onion, uh, mayo, and a little bit of black pepper. And uh, I've already tried a bit, of course. You have to, don't you? You know, chef's prerogative and all that. It's really nice. I, I make this now and again, but not often enough, really. And I, I absolutely love it. I love potato salad. Right, so I'll have some of that with it. Uh, the oven's on at the moment. I don't know if there's anything else I can tell you about this. Maybe the EU pork. Not for EU. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a bit odd, but... Right, I'll get that in the oven, get it cooked and sliced and everything, and I'll bring you back. Right, and there it is. In all its uh, mushroom and hairy glory. First thing I've noticed is the crust hasn't cooked as well as the previous one I had from this range. Some of it has remained really flat. Um, some has looks like it should. Uh, <laughs> this piece has just sort of broken up. Strange. Um, it smells very hammy. It really does. So, let's try a bit of ham first. Be rude not to, wouldn't it? It 
Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> right, let's have a mushroom. Here's the, there's the biggest mushroom, let's have that. Come here. Cheese pool. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, that mushroom is amazing. I hardly ever have mushrooms, you know, I don't know why. I just don't tend to buy them. But I love them. I should have them more, shouldn't I, really? Okay, let's try a bit of this, this broken bit of crust, because I've got a feeling that's going to be really hard. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, the main event, the main thing, the whole thing, it's pizza. Let's eat it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, the creaminess and taste <clears throat> of those cheeses, <clears throat> excuse me, is amazing. That is so good. Oh, yes, and as you can see, there's plenty of cheese pull. A bit of a, an embarrassing amount of cheese pull, actually. Let's go again. <laughs> mm. Mm. I would never normally buy ham and mushroom pizza but because the other one from this range was so good <clears throat> I thought I'd try this one and I'm glad I did it's so good the mushrooms are excellent. The ham's good, not great, but good. But it's the, the cheese, the cheese is incredible. Ah, one more bite, and I'm gonna go and enjoy this with some of my potato salad, of course. I apologise if I've got bits of, any bits of cheese or sauce around my mouth, but hey ho. Totally recommend that. Home bargains, £2.19. That really is a bargain. That really is. I've got to try the cheese one now, haven't I? It'll be a few weeks, but I'll get round to it. I'll try it. Yeah. So good. So, so good. Right. Thanks for watching that one. And uh, let me know your thoughts on ham and mushroom pizzas in general. Do you like them? Are they your favourite? If they are, what's the best one that you can buy in the shops? Right, thanks for watching again and I'll see you in the next video.